So I'm Steve. I'm a senior product manager at Clio that works on invoicing and payments. So basically, I build tools that help law firms get paid. And I'm Sharon Ajafi. I'm the social media and community specialist at Clio. But my main focus is building marketing programs around the Clio Cloud Conference. And that means that when you all purchase a ticket to come today, it was my job to not only make that process easy, but make sure that you knew the value that you were paying for. So here's what we'll be touching on in today's presentation. We'll first walk through the payments industry landscape in 2019 and what that means for law firms, followed by how Clio Payments can help you stay competitive in this landscape. We'll then show you how to set up your Clio Payments account, as well as some key features to help keep, uh, to make sure that you get the highest ROI on the platform, and then we'll finish things off with a brief question and answer period. Now, I know you're all super eager to just jump right in and learn how to improve your payments process. But before we do that, it's important that we understand why this matters and what are the potential long-term implications of your law firm's chosen method of accepting payments. And we'll cover a few important high-level considerations, but as Jack mentioned earlier today in his keynote, his new book, The Client-Centered Law Firm, covers this topic in far more detail. And you can pre-order it today at the Clio Marketplace. So we all know of industry heavyweights that have literally changed the game on how we consume content, make purchases, or hire services. But what you might not realize is that these effects are not constrained to the spaces in which these heavyweight companies operate. So whether it's a movie, a latte, or a beach house in Bali, consumers have become trained to expect many things with just a few clicks. And this makes every business landscape more competitive than ever, with consumers demanding all businesses provide them with experiences that are both easy and familiar to them. Now, I've got a question for all the lawyers in the room. How many of you have had to go through the process of purchasing malpractice insurance? Hopefully. <laughs> I hope most of the lawyers have, for sure. Now, when you went through this process or used the insurance, how many of you encountered black box pricing or found out that you, were covered, you weren't covered for something that you felt like you should have? Anything that made the experience less than ideal? Yep. A good number of lawyers have been there at one point or another. And ultimately, this experience results in most lawyers just wanting to stop using that provider and find a new one. And the reason for that is that the services industry landscape has gotten so competitive that consumer expectations are just higher than they've ever been. And the cost of ignoring this trend is incredibly high. A recent PwC study confirms that one in three consumers will walk away from a brand that they love after just one bad experience. Now, you're probably wondering, how does getting paid fit into this workflow? So Clio's industry report, the Legal Trends Report, is built by both analyzing law firm data as well as client trends in the industry. That f and this revealed that 40% of clients would actually never hire a lawyer who didn't accept credit cards as a method of payment. And this is because at the end of the day, your clients are growing more and more accustomed to paying you for products and services at home conveniently using their credit card. The last thing they want to do for you is order a checkbook, write the check, and then hand deliver it to you. This is not only going to frustrate clients, but it's going to make you less likely to get paid in the long run. But when you and your clients are aligned on your payment process, it not only makes it easier for you to get paid, but it's also going to play a key role in getting your clients continued business. And from the Legal Trends Report, we can really see the impact that this is having on businesses with 57% of invoices that are sent through payment processors like Clio Payments and LawPay getting paid within the same day. And 85% of those invoices are going to be paid within the first week. So with that, we'll talk about how Clio Payments can help make sure that you're providing an excellent payment experience to your clients and getting the early benefits that credit cards offer. So for those that aren't familiar, Clio Payments is manager's payment processor that is powered by LawPay. Is LawPay in the house, by the way? Yeah, great, we love LawPay. <laughs> so uh, we built all the features with Clio Payments to ensure that they're optimized for legal consumers right out of the box to make sure that your firm is easily offering payment options in a way that consumers are familiar with. So we do this a number of ways. First, by offering a payment portal on every invoice that you send through Clio. And we also allow you to set up flexible, recurring payment options. And we also handle trust in a manner that is both safe and compliant for you and your customers. 
On top of all that, we're going to make sure that Clio does all the heavy lifting from you from a bookkeeping perspective to ensure that you're not wasting time inputting information twice. And offering these easy, flexible services is also going to ensure that your clients really have an easier time pay and increase your collection rate overall. So the biggest friction point that we hear when introducing credit cards to a firm's method of payment is processing fees. So I, I just wanted to throw up a little bit of math here, and these are two firms side by side. One of them that uses Clio payments when they're billing out $10,000, and one of them that's using more traditional payment methods like cash and checks. And you can see that although the firm is paying processing fees, they're still coming out way ahead due to this boost in collection rate caused by the reduced friction that they're experiencing. In total, when you're billing $10,000 with Clio payments, you're going to average about $550 extra. So now that we know the benefits of using Clio payments and how it keeps you competitive, let's get started on how, on how to create your Clio payments account. Now, all Clio managed customers in the US and Canada at boutique and elite levels already have Clio payments built in and ready to go. All you need to do is go uh, click on pay Clio Payments on the right hand on the left hand menu, excuse me, and you'll be prompted to sign in to your LawPay account. And if you don't already have a LawPay account, you can sign up for one within the same platform. Now, key benefit of using LawPay within Clio Payments is that Clio Payments will waive your monthly LawPay fee. Now, if you're signing up for a new Clio Payments account, it's important that this be done by your law firm's business owner, as information on both the business owner and the law firm will be required. And the whole process takes only five minutes. Now, once you're either signed up or signed in, you, the system will guide you on how to map your bank account to Clio Payments very easily. And then that's it. You're ready to start using Clio Payments. So now that we're all set up, we're going to walk you through a few workflows and features that will help you provide a great client experience that gets you paid faster. And we'll cover three ways to do this. The first is how to integrate Clio payments into your invoicing and trust process. Then we'll talk about how to reduce your accounts receivable using Clio payments. And we'll finish things off with how to make payments even more accessible using Clio Secure Payment Link. So with that, we'll get into it. The first workflow we wanted to touch on is how Clio Payments is automatically integrated into Clio's billing process from day one. So once your bills are ready to be sent out through Clio, you can then go to the Bills section of Clio and select all the bills that you wish to share to your clients. From there, I can click the Share button and then select if I want to share this via email or through Clio Connect, which is Clio's secure client portal. From here, I can type in any message that I want to send to the client along with their invoice, like payment terms or other instructions. And then I can just share the bill, and Clio is going to fire that off. So this is what your client's going to see. They're going to get an email from you in their inbox. And it's going to have a nice breakdown of all of their balances that are owed to you, as well as the invoice attached. And because we're using Clio Payments, we have that Pay Online Now link. And that's going to take you to a personally branded payments portal. So this is going to feel really familiar to their clients if they've ever bought something online. But it's also going to look like it's coming from you. And it is set up with all of the branding that you've already configured in Clio. So once this payment's cleared, like we said, Clio is going to do all the heavy lifting for us. So once our client pays us, we can navigate back to the bill. And if we go to the Clio payment section, we can see a $2,500 transaction has been paid, and that bill balance has automatically been reduced, so you can ensure that everything is kept up to date. So we can also do this workflow with trust. So in order to do this, I can just go to Create New and click on Trust Request. From there, I can enter the client that the request is for. And once I've selected that, I can enter the amount that I want the client to pay. So here we'll do $5,000, and I can add a note that this is for an initial retainer. So once I do that, I can click Save Trust Request, and Clio's going to give me a nice branded request that I can send to my client for payment. And just like before, we can go up to the top right and click on that Share Bill. And just like sharing an invoice, you can also share this trust request system. So once that trust request is shared, again, our client is going to get that email, and it'll have that request we just generated in a PDF form automatically attached, as well with any instructions that you set up. 
And again, because we're handling trust in a way that's compliant, you also have a payments portal for that as well. So we can click on through to that and your client can make their trust payment just like they've paid you for the invoice. So a quick summary of the integration. So Clio's billing and trust request system is set up with Clio payments from day one. So you don't have to worry about configuring everything. It's ready right out of the box. So you're gonna get a modern professional and branded payments portal that's gonna let your clients pay you as soon as they get the email from you. And we can see that 57% of clients are reading and paying that email within the first day of getting it. So Clio's also gonna apply these entries for you and ensure that everything in your system remains up to date. So the workflow is gonna be effortless for both your client in terms of paying, but also as well for you in terms of the reduction of double entry. Now the next workflow we'll cover will make it easier for clients to pay you, therefore increasing the likelihood that you will get paid on time. And we'll cover two ways to do this. The first, uh, first, we'll talk about our new Outstanding Balances feature, which helps simplify any client follow-ups. And then we'll cover how you can give clients more flexible payment options in the form of payment plans. Now, if your client has multiple invoices making up an Outstanding Balance, you can share this information easily using Clio's new Outstanding Balances feature. And I know there are a lot of fans of Outstanding Balances in the room. So to find it, just go to Bills, then Outstanding Balances, and you will see a summary of all of your clients' outstanding balances. You can see the invoices that make up this balance by clicking on the total next to the relevant client, where you'll see all the invoices that make up that balance. And then if you want to share this information with the client, just go back to outstanding balances and click the share button next to that relevant client. Here you can insert a personalized message and it will be sent via email straight to their inbox. Now, once they receive this email, it'll be a great, summarized, uh, great summary of their outstanding balance, as well as the invoices that make up that balance, which can be opened in PDF form. And if they want to share, uh, if they want to pay down this balance, they can click the pay button, which will take, you, uh, they take them straight to your Clio payments platform. And once the payment is made, it will be applied in a first in, first out basis, and both yourself and the client will get a receipt of confirmation that this has been complete. So if your client is having trouble paying the entire balance up front, you can also set them up on a payment plan directly from within Clio to help guarantee collection. So to do this, I can click on the Clio Payments tab on the left-hand corner and go up and select Payment Plans. From there, I can cre press Create New Plan and type in the client that I want to set up on this payment plan. So from here, I can enter the installment amount that will charge the client on a basis that we can choose, and then we'll select that this is to pay down that their outstanding balance. From here, I can set this up on a monthly, weekly, or bi-weekly basis, as well as choose the start date. So from here, I can just enter the client's credit card information, and you're ready to go. Once that's done, you'll both be issued a receipt on the payment date, and once again, your balance is gonna get paid in a first in, first out basis. So the key takeaways from this workflow are that you can now send follow-ups on any balances owed, as well as easily enable automated payments. And this provides a really great clear overview of your firm's financial health, as well as a no-fuss method of accepting payments. So you can worry less about your collections and focus more on practicing law. Now the final workflow we'll cover is Clio's secure payment link. Now this link takes your clients directly to your payments platform and can be added to your website, shared in an email, or in any online location where clients may try to find out where they can pay you. And if you make this link easy to find, it will greatly reduce any back and forth communication or friction in your payments process. We even recommend having it loaded on an iPad or a laptop in the office ready to go for when clients come and visit you in case they want to make a payment on site. And within Clio Payments, you will have links to both your trust and operating accounts ready to go, uh, ready to, go to share with the client. So here's where you can find it. Just go to Clio Payments, and on the top right corner, you will see a button for your secure payment link. Now, when you click here, you will see options to find links for your trust and operating accounts. 
You can copy the one that you want to share and share it in an email, text message, or any other method of communication. Here, we're going to send a personalized email to our client. We'll just write them a, a quick message so they know exactly what this link is. Um, and then we can paste the link in there, and it will go straight to their inbox. Here we have the view of the client's inbox. They've received the link, and they can open it, and it takes them, again, straight to your Clear Payments platform. Now, when they make a payment, you will see that payment reflected in your Clear Payments view. And you can link the payment to the appropriate client and matter of your choosing. You can also use this link to pay down any outstanding balances, in which case, again, it will be applied on a first-in, first-out basis. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we also recommend having this link readily available on your website so your clients don't need to sift through past emails or text messages to find, to find this information. It's there for all clients to find ready to go as a source of truth. And this is a great example from a real life Clio customer, Freeman Tax Law. I know, I know that they're at the Clio Cloud Conference today, probably not in the session because they're professionals at this point. Um, and they've made this link uh, easy, easily accessible for all of their clients to find. So the key takeaways when it comes to the secure payment link is that this is a universal link that can be accessed anywhere at any time. It can be applied to any matter or client, and you can feel secure in sharing it in e any public or private platform. So that was a quick summary of Clio Payments and how you can utilize it to boost your collection. So we went over some of the benefits of accepting credit card and how Clio Payments can help. We also went over how you can collect trust, trust and retainers with this workflow and make sure that it's done securely and compliantly. And finally, we went over the integration, both for invoicing clients as well as paying down any existing AR. Now, the next steps are just to, are to try out Clio Payments. We walked you how to set up your account, but of course, you can always go to Clio.com to find some great resources that will walk you through that process, or um, say hello to the friendly Cleons in the smart bar next door, where they, where they can also help you get set up as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and one, yeah, one and last one, thing. Oh yeah, uh, and once that's all set up, um, just give it a try, try it on a few clients, see how they like it, and start getting paid faster. Yeah, and then lastly, LawPay, if you're not a user, is offering just at this conference $100 in processing credit, so go view them over there and say hi, and they'll get you started. And with that, we'll open it up for any questions now. Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, just for those that didn't hear, the question was Clio Payments currently doesn't offer a convenience fee um, setting to be done, and that's something that LawPay offers. Um, it's something that we hear occasionally, and we're monitoring in a future request. Um, we don't have it in, but happy to chat more about that after to see if there's anything you can do with um, the early payment discount setting to get that rough functionality in there for the time being. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the question is, does this replace Invoice Sherpa? And the answer to that is no. Um, Invoice Sherpa is, again, it'll show you the same kind of balance that you get with the outstanding balance. Invoice Sherpa has a lot of automation and templating settings. Um, so again, you're, you're paying a premium kind of for that option if you're using that right now. Um, so we've made it a lot easier to share bills through, but it's not necessarily a one-to-one -one replacement. If you are using Invoice Sherpa and you want to take advantage of Clio Payments, uh, we recommend using that secure payment link in your communications through Invoice Sherpa. So then you can both get the Clio Payments automation as well as the Invoice Sherpa one. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the, the question was, is there any way to make this automatic right now? No, but if you come visit us in the product lab, we'll give you a walkthrough of that functionality, and, and that'd be a great suggestion to throw by the team over there. Cool, yes. So we've had clients that have issues with the um, Clio Connect. Mm -hmm. They're unable to see some of the documents that are attached to the um, invoices. So if we have like an invoice that is referenced um, or a document that's referenced in the invoice, they if they go back and forth, if they switch back and forth, they lose connection to um, the the share feature on the invoice. So, and when we have to go back in. Is that something that you guys are working on? Have you heard in about it? Interesting. I don't personally know about that issue. I, I'd recommend visiting the smart bar on there. Um, but yeah, it, it sounds like something that if, if we raise to the team, we can definitely look at. Okay. We do subscriptions um, for our clients yearly, and I was wondering if there's a way to set that up, like you said, like weekly payments or monthly payments. Yeah, so you can use the you can use the um, payment plans functionality for that. Mm -hmm. um, so we recommend setting up a flat rate matter for that, and then you can just start paying it down with the payment plan and add to it as you need to. Oh, well, I'm talking about like charging a client a. A year, like for a whole year. Oh, you're charging time. like a yearly fee. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we currently don't have yearly okay. as an option on payment plans, so we recommend just like setting up a calendar event and then charging it on there. Okay, yeah, cool, No Thanks. problem. Uh, yeah, at the back. I have a question on the Clio Pay. Yeah. Um, currently, I cannot get two payment plans for one client. Mm -hmm. I can only do one payment plan. Am I doing something wrong? And then also, if they get paid on the 1st and the 15th, I can only set up one of them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's feedback that we've heard, and that's something that we're working on right now. It's so you can set it up both on the 1st and the 15th. OK. So yeah, come, come see us after, and I'd be happy to chat with you more about that. And then can you do payment plans on multiple matters, or is it just per client? Right now it's per client. Okay. Yeah. So as we're taking more credit card payments, we are having much bigger expenses in that area, fees. Just hmm. wondered if you heard any creative solutions for passing that on or what people are doing about that. Yeah, yeah, that, that was kind of... Um, the, the initial question that was asked. So um, Clio payments, currently we don't have a way to do that. We recommend maybe just slightly upping your rate and then offering an early payment discount. Um, but otherwise, you can also turn on that functionality within LawPay. Um, if you have access to Clio payment, you have access to both. Um, and that's one way that we've seen to pass it on. It does vary state by state if you're able to actually do that. So I'd recommend following up with the regulations in that area to make sure that you're able to pass on the fees before you turn that on. Perfect, yeah. Do you have any functionality about splitting the fee between both the trust account and the operating account? Um, sorry, can you elaborate on that a little bit more? Well, for example, if you're doing a subscription service, mm -hmm. maybe you have an administrative fee that you charge you know, yeah. $10 out of, let's say, 150 and then yeah. the rest would go to a prepaid legal plan, for mm -hmm. example. Yeah. Which would need to go into the trust account because you hadn't earned it at that point. Yeah, there's, there's a couple workflows, and I can, I can show you after this, but the long and short of it is you can set a payment plan up to automatically be deposited into a trust account, and then you can just invoice them separately from that. Cool. Oh, I think right behind you, Rylan. Okay, so my question is when that payment comes through, does it automatically go to your trust account, or do you have to designate which account it's going to go to at the client level? Um, for the, the trust request payment? When you, yeah, when you get trust payments, yeah. does it go to the client, is it attached to the client level or the matter level? Yeah, when you configure the trust request, you can pick what it goes to if you want it to go to a specific matter, or you can just leave the matter blank and it'll go to the client. So Thank either you. or. Awesome. Oh, one more.
So as far as like historical data and using that in QuickBooks or some other, you can actually download all the invoices and the way the payments were applied, right? Like mm -hmm. per month? Okay. Yep. And you can just do that from the transactions tab within Clio Payments. Cool. Perfect. Thanks so much. If you do have any more questions, uh, we'll be around at shares running over everywhere, but I'll be at the product lab for the rest of the conference and feel free to come say hi. Thanks. Thank you.